Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the banded dotterel, the most common small plover of New Zealand's seashores, that are however threatened heavily by introduced mammals. I hope you enjoy. At 20cm and 60g, banded dotterels are compact shorebirds, having brown and white plumage and a short black bill, alongside relatively long legs and dark eyes. Their band, which gives the species their common name, appears through their breeding plumage from about June to December, with the male sporting a broad chestnut breastband as a narrower black neckband above it. Both bands are also present in female birds, but are reduced by comparison. There are also differences between the two known subspecies, with Charadrius bisinctus bisinctus being found on the main islands alongside the Chassams, and the Auckland Island subspecies C. b. exilis unwell the Auckland Islands. This latter subspecies also has longer legs, as well as possessing duller breastbands which also flex with white spots. Birds are opportunistic feeders, feeding on a range of invertebrates, with said range increasing in diversity during their breeding season. They have also been known in some cases to consume the berries off of numerous shrubs, including Caprosma and Muambecchia. Birds engage in different foraging behaviours depending on the time of day, with them during the day spending more time flying and being alert, doing more paces to look for food given insect movements would be more visible. At night, birds have been noted to have a repeated pecking technique, spending more time waiting in one general area due to their reduced ability to track down their prey. And with their lessened movement, it also means that if they do detect an insect, it means that their response in detecting the birds would be hampered. Birds are predominantly found in New Zealand, given the country holds their main nesting sites, although some birds are partly migratory, with some being found in winter in areas like Australia, New Caledonia, Fiji and Vanuatu, not to mention various other tropical countries and islands. In New Zealand, they are found throughout the country, but are most common in areas around Northland coastal areas and around offshore islands, with a particularly dense population being located on Stewart Island. Birds will enter their breeding season in and around the month of July, with them forming monogamous pairs and the males growing their coloured bands on their chests around the same time. After this, male birds will then create numerous nests out on open patches of elevated sand or on shells and the occasional plants, with them then attracting females with loud calls so as to present their various nests to them in order to narrow down an optimal location to lay their eggs. From August to September, flocks of birds, sometimes in the several hundreds, will gather to mates and lay their eggs, with females being capable of laying two to four, after which relaying can occur up to three times if there is a predation event or a flood. Birds are most plentiful in inland Canterbury and the Mackenzie Basin, with both parents incubating their clutch. The resulting hatchlings are covered with short down, with them being golden brown to creamy yellow, and are speckled with black spots, making them incredibly well camouflaged. They are then able to leave their nests within a day of hatching, and will quickly accompany their parents in search of food, although at the slightest sign of danger, the parents will give us an alarm call which notifies the chicks to scatter, run a few feet before squatting, with them then remaining out of sight. They are otherwise quite independent from the parents, with them, unlike say chickens, looking for food themselves, with the parents generally keeping their distance and monitoring their surroundings. The chicks grow fast and are fully fledged within about six weeks after their hatching, with the parents remaining nearby until the chicks join flocks of their own and become fully independent. Dotterals have however disappeared from many sites around New Zealand, even from ones where the habitat has changed little. Said decline is predominantly from introduced predators, which are fully capable of preying on eggs and chicks, and also the adults, with mustelids like ferrets, stoats and cats, feral or domestic, being the biggest threats, although human development and activities like off-road driving have also led to birds being killed. Considered as threatened, the population has been noted to have fallen substantially, with them believed to have decreased nationally from around 50,000 to around 20,000 in recent years, a reduction of nearly two-thirds couples with a predicted population decline of anywhere from 30 to an astonishing 70%, it is little wonder as to why they need to be protected. They have been legally protected since 1908, after market gunners greatly reduced their numbers during their breeding season, and intensive cat control and monitoring have seen numbers increase substantially in places like Stewart Island. Their tenacious nature, having been seen flying at predators like cats and gulls, and even people, shows that despite them being the size of blackbirds, they most definitely have a lot of fight in them something which is needed for their continued survival. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Chasm Island Oyster Catcher, stocky wading birds that are the only member of their group on the Chasm Islands. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.